I think that chasing crypto pumps is now over. We're not, the bull runs over, the stupid money is gone. Most people don't understand about crypto that it's person versus person. I see they launch these coins and then they start a telegram community. Mm. And then if you go in the community, Discord, yeah, if you get in the community, everyone's like, yeah, we're all in this together. No, you're not. No. You're not in this together. You, if you're buying or if you're selling, if you buy crypto at a dollar, and then you sell it at $10. Someone bought it off you at $10. Yeah. Probably in that same Telegram. Probably in the same Telegram group. So you're literally stealing money from them. They've lost all their money. Yeah. So now the only people left in crypto is the smart money. And that's very, very hard to steal, right? Yeah. So I think that the idea of chasing a pump right now is very foolish. Yeah. I also think that... Have you ever heard about Andrew Tate? Tate is a former professional kickboxer who quickly became an internet sensation because of his personality and views about women and business ventures. And people either love him or hate him. There's no in-between. Nowadays, people look at him to learn more about personal development and building wealth. So today, we will have his view on what's happening with crypto. Pay close attention, and Rutate will tell you what makes him the most money and how he sees the crypto markets. He will also give some powerful advice on what you should do to make sure you can make money forever, even if Bitcoin or crypto goes to zero. First, what makes him the most money today? I wanted to know where, I kind of felt like I'd gone to outer space expecting to see aliens, mm -hmm. and I got there and there were none. No idea. I was like, where is everybody? <laughs> okay, I'm rich, but I expected once I became rich to meet other men who were rich, yeah. focused, intelligent, had their dating lives in order, their yeah. physical health in order, their finances in order, their connections in order. And I got to the top of the mountain. I looked around and realized nobody had it. Like, yeah, this guy's rich, but he's cucked by his wife and he's fat. This guy's rich, but he's controlled by the Matrix. Mm. This guy's rich, but he's dummy. He just made a bunch of money making music, rap. He's an idiot. Luck, yeah. This guy's rich. Like, and there was nobody Good who point. had it all. Yeah. I was like, and I wanted a network of genuine predators. I wanted the Freemasons almost. I, I thought, I didn't want to join their organizations. But you I wanted people wanted to, like you. Like I wanted you. people like me. So I started an organization to find those men. Yeah. So now we have 3,000 members all around the world. Wow. Uh, a lot of them are very, very wealthy. A lot of them aren't. We have people who join who are 18 year old brokies with nothing. That's fine. They spent all their money on joining. That's fine, yeah. If you spend all of your time sitting around people who talk about how to become powerful and influential and rich, you're just get, getting guess idea. what you're gonna end up being? Yeah. Powerful, influential, and rich. So now I have the greatest network on the face of the planet. And when I say it's maybe the most money, it's not because of the membership fee. The membership fee is very low, it's cheap. It's because of the, the opportunities and connections inside of the war room. Mm. And that's why I am ultra competitive and that's why nobody will ever beat me. If you're an individual and you wake up and think, I wanna make my life better and you spend eight hours reading a book, that's fine. When I wake up, I wake up to maybe 25 messages from some of the most influential and rich people on the planet that you've never heard of <laughs> telling me, buy this now, this is an opportunity to make money on the Russian ruble. This is an opportunity to make money British here. Bound, yeah. This is yeah. This is an opportunity to make money on this land. This is what's going down in Iraq. Here mm -hmm. we have an opportunity in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Here we, I, and I'm sitting there going, okay. And I have got all this curated information and genuine opportunities in real time presented to me. And within 15 minutes, I've made a five million dollar investment. Yeah. You're you're on page one. You're still reading your book. <laughs> the introduction. You're still reading. Yeah, chapter. you're still reading the introduction. And this is why against pit people like me and my network and the other people inside the war room, you will always lose. Yeah. So the war rooms may be the most money, but not because of membership fees or anything like that, because of the, the genuine network. connections and opportunities inside of the war room. And we're just, we're just free minds. Anybody who listens to what I say and agrees with it and likes it should understand that you are the sum of the five people you spend the most time right. with. 100%. And if you know 100%. that, then you need to make sure you're not spending time with anybody you don't want to be. Oh, yeah. So people who join the war room, they join. I come here, I'm young, I don't have any money or I'm old, I have a little bit of money, or whatever it is, yeah. but I am here to learn and absorb. I wanna commit. I wanna commit, and if, and if you learn and absorb and you're in the right place, then you can do fantastically well. So the War Room, I mean, with the War Room Network now, it would, I could never be broke ever again. It's, yeah. it's impossible for me to ever go poor. I, I, I have access to billions of dollars I could loan from these men, if I because I know they could trust me if they wanted to. I have a place I can sleep in 3,000 different locations around the world in big mansions. If I needed a Lambo, they'd send it to me. That's if I needed a visa for a country that you can't get a visa for, someone there will have a business to give me an LLC, to give mm. me a visa via their business. I, I, if I need a jet, it comes. If I, if I need information on anything, yeah. if I need to do a money transfer to Afghanistan, 
it, which if anyone's tried, they know how difficult that is. Yeah. I've got a guy who fixes that. Are you good? It's <laughs> all it's there. Yeah. It's, it's everything. So whenever I have any problem in my life, no matter what it is, I go to the war room. And in fact, I'll, I'll prove the power of the war room right now. So being a multimillionaire now, does Enrutate still use crypto and make money using it? What are his thoughts on what's happening? Okay. I think that chasing crypto pumps is now over. We're not, the bull runs over, the stupid money is gone. Most people don't understand about crypto that it's person versus person. I see they launch these coins and then they start a Telegram community. Mm. And then if you go in the community, Discord, yeah, yeah. if you get in the community, everyone's like, yeah, we're all in this together. No, you're not. No. You're not in this together. You, if you're buying, or if you're selling, if you buy crypto at a dollar and then you sell it at $10, someone bought it off you at $10. Yeah. So probably in that same Telegram. Probably group. in the same Telegram group. Mm -hmm. So you're literally stealing money from the other people in your community. The other people who believe in the project, yeah. you're stealing money from them. It's player versus player. They start these stupid communities so all of you sit there and don't dump so that the developer can dump. Yeah. You're all dummies. All you guys, you're yeah. all dummies. Yeah. It's player versus player. And a lot of the dumb money is now gone. People who were stupid, who believed in all this they crap, the they've lost all their money. Yeah. So now the only people left in crypto is the smart money, and that's very, very hard to steal, right? Yeah. So I think that the idea of chasing a pump right now is very foolish. Yeah. I also think that one of the detrimental things about crypto is that it recently made people a bunch of money. Yeah, sure. Uh, in the last two to three years, or two, six months, at nine months, whatever it was, the bull run. But... The people who made money with crypto didn't learn any real skills. They didn't learn sales. They didn't learn marketing. So they didn't they learn management. Didn't learn how to deal with stress. Didn't learn how to grow a company. Didn't learn how to deal with taxes. They didn't, didn't struggle. Learn, they didn't learn they didn't anything. Get the pain. They didn't struggle. Yeah. There was no pain. They bought a coin. My friend, every single coin went up. You're not a genius. Everything went up. Anything, All of them yeah. went up. You could have bought anything. Yeah. yeah, you were in the right place at the right time. You made a little bit of money, but you've learned absolutely zero. And unfortunately, if you have money but no lessons and you're still a dummy, that money is not going to last no, long yeah, and you're going to lose it. And the world we live in now is also hyper expensive. Like you make a couple hundred thousand dollars and you think you're rich. You lose 20% the same, uh, bro, same day. Bro, like Inflation. the amount of money you need nowadays to be considered rich is ridiculous. Yeah. I was with Dan Bilzerian a couple weeks ago and I was telling him how quickly my life has changed. I used to go to a holiday for a week with mm -hmm. 500, 600 pounds, yeah. right, for the week. Yeah. When Dan messaged me and said, hey, let's hang out, he was in France, I was in Romania, I was like, cool. Yeah. Um, I had some cars in Germany, I had trucked over to wait for me there because the roads are nice. I organized yeah, my jet Germany. from Bucharest to, to France. I needed a security team to come with me. I hired the security team to come with me. I like to use my Romanian guys, so we had to get a bigger jet to accommodate them. By the time we jetted in with the with the security team, picked up the cars, everybody, six or seven people needed five-star hotel rooms. Everybody ate food. I sat and had a meeting with Dan. I took the cars for a spin around the mountains, went to a spa a little bit, jumped back on the jet with the entire security team, put the cars back on a truck to Germany and flew home. So from by the time I had a three-hour meeting with a friend, it cost me 400 grand. Oh my goodness. That's how expensive the world is at the top. Yeah. So when you're sitting there and you've made 200 grand on a crypto pump Stop and you it. think you think oh I'm, I'm rich you are a brokey and you haven't even made any, you haven't even learned any lessons you're a dummy so i think crypto is bad for kids because it has a whole bunch of kids out here thinking they don't need to work hard they don't need to dedicate themselves they don't need to learn important lessons they can just chase a pump and win the lottery mm. and it ain't gonna happen that's whether you lose all their money so yeah. that's the bad thing about crypto and that's why i'll sit here right now and do a plug and say join the real world instead i'll make money either way you not, have skills. By, not yeah, because i have skills and not by day trading not by that i'm just gonna know things other people don't know before they know them i'm just gonna have opportunities identified and presented to me before other people have, have yeah. them and it doesn't matter if bitcoin goes down to zero Euro, or it goes up to $10 million a coin. Either way, I'm going to make in, insanely large sums of money because of my network and because I'm respected and because I know important people. And that's the problem with these crypto kids. They have none of that. This is an extreme point of view, but he's got a point. As long as you have skills and a network of like-minded people around you, there will always be new opportunities coming in, even if you lose your investments in the crypto markets. On average, most millionaires have at least seven income sources and they learn something while building that wealth. So now, even if they lose everything tomorrow, they know how to make it again. Do you agree with Tate's point of view? Let us know in the comments, but check this out. When asked how much money is enough, look what Enru Tate had to say. You may feel it inspiring. No, not even 50. After $20 million, life is basically the same. If you don't wanna buy a jet and you, you don't wanna buy a yacht, you're never gonna need more than twenty million dollars, really, because there's nothing to buy. And like, you can rent the yachts and the jets. You can you can charter yachts, you can charter jets, which is probably smarter anyway. Uh, I had a jet, I owned one for a few months, and I sold it. And the reason I'll never buy a jet again. They can track it. They, yeah, all these 
on Twitter are tracking him. That's Top like, G's jet. I'm yeah. not having it tracked. But no, 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 the LVMS guy, he just, he just sold, he sold it. it. No. Because it, I don't want everyone knowing where I am all the time. Yeah. So you I, know, Elon Musk, some kid on Twitter is like know, j- tracking his jet. I know, I know, it's, it's, it's criminal. You can buy a nice house in most places on the planet. You can buy two or three cars. You can buy some diamond watches. You can buy some nice clothes. And that's all there is to buy. What's actually kind of amazing to me is when I was poor, I thought if I got rich, I'd buy all this stuff. And now I'm rich and I can buy anything I want. And there's nothing to buy. There's nothing to buy. Clothes, I already have too many. My wardrobe's completely full head to toe. Don't wear most of them. Diamond watches, you get 10. How many do you really need? Cars, I have 28. I drive like four of them. Like. What's there to buy? Coffee, dinner. Yeah, true. There's nothing to buy. Like it's so the money is just about influence and power. That's mm-hmm. all it's about. Um, and now, because I'm a workaholic and because I refuse to be a lazy person, because I am addicted to my mission, I keep accidentally making millions and millions and millions of dollars. <laughs> and I don't need it, and I have nothing to do with it. But it's just if I get a good opportunity, I'm gonna take the money. And, yeah. You know, the war room hits me up. Let's make ten million here. Let's it's like, do okay, it. let's do it. It's but fun. um. Yeah, it's but there's nothing to buy. So I say once you're past 20, 25 million, that's as good as life can really get. Yeah. You're flying private, you're staying in the best hotels, you're eating what you want, you drive the car you want, you wear the clothes you want, you have the watch you want, and that's it. And why doesn't Tate want to be a billionaire instead? You need to belong to either the Western Hemisphere or the Eastern Hemisphere. You need a degree of governmental protection. Yeah. You need to be politically aligned in some particular way. I think that once you get to billionaire, you're too powerful to just be a truly free agent, mm. if that makes you sense. You have to join a... You have to join a team. Whereas right now, I'm effectively a free agent. I can move back to America if I wanted to. Keep I'm in anyway. the UAE. I could also, via my friends, move to Moscow if I wanted to. Yeah. I could choose any side. If I wanted to, yeah. but I think if I had a billion, I would have already had to have chose a yeah, side long yeah, yeah. ago, if that makes sense. This was the first time we brought him to the channel. Did you enjoy the content? Let us know in the comments below and please leave a like and subscribe if you did. Thank you so much for watching. See you tomorrow.